And it's just that thing. Um, that's why we should never prejudge, you know, because it's, it's just so... Um, would anyone else like to ask it? Yes, yes, just over there. Um, what was your first acting job, and, and, and have your sons shown any interest in acting? So, first acting job. My very first acting job was on May the 1st, 1971, and it was Cider with Rosie, the first production, and it went out on Christmas Day, and it had four lines. Um, Claude Watham directing, and they got me, they mistakenly got me there three days early. Uh, so I, I had to went horse riding for three days. I just, I mean, I thought, oh my, this is my life now. And I'm being paid for it. I mean, I was just over the moon. What a wonderful first job and a way to get my card. My youngest did think about becoming an actor, went to the Brit school for a while, um, but various things overtook him in his teenage years, and he slightly dropped out for a couple of years, and um, part of him um, becoming the marvellous human being that he is today was exercise, so he's ended up being an absolute top personal trainer. He's extraordinary. Um, so he never, he, never, um, he never followed through. I wish he'd become a singer, but there's a little bit of him that's too shy. Thank you. Um, other, yes, over there. Hello. Um, so, um, I watch, a, a li watch, I listen to a lot of Big Finish. Um, I've just got to like, the third series of the Time War. Um, so we're about to find you again, uh, Leela. And um, I know that she's quite prominent in the Gallifrey series. Um, would you ever return to actual Doctor Who in the modern day? Do you reckon she survived the time? In a nanosecond. Does nanosecond exist? 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 Absolutely. I would, uh, any way, shape, or form, Doctor Who, anything, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, completely. Um, yes, what we finish have done, because I've done much more on audio than I ever did on camera, has taken her in so many different directions. And so many of the writers have got her voice uh, accurately. Um, occasionally I get a script where I'm going, what is it, or what is it, or doctor, what is it? Um, yeah, kind of, okay, but others have, um, have really pushed her and educated her and um, um, kept, her, kept all her instinct, but uh, put an education on top of that, and I think that's made for a very interesting character. I think if Russell, are you listening? I think if Russell, if Russell had me back, I was just telling Sophie how jealous I was. So. Uh, <laughs> If, if he'd had me back, I'd love her to come back as some kind of, uh, I don't know, having had a football team of children and um, being some kind of guru, still quite spiritual, but, but, but also with, you know, as much science as Robin. I must say, when you said nanosecond, I don't know if anyone here has read Alan Moore's new collection, Illuminations. He writes about a whole story about the first femtosecond of the universe, a tiny amount of time. And the opening line is, it was the best of times, it was the first of times. Which is such a, it's worth buying the book for that alone. We had a question over there, I think, yes. Um, what was your um, experience like when you came back to do, to do Jago on like public visit? So that was Jago and Light for that experience. What was that like? Yes, with Christopher Benjamin and Trevor Baxter, two of the most adorable, amazing, wonderful, lovely actors that you could hope to work with. I had worked with um, both of them uh, uh, away from Doctor Who. Uh, one in a play, uh, Christopher in a play down at the Bristol Old Vic, and Trevor and I toured America in a five-hand production of Twelfth Night. And Trevor, and um, we'd stay on campus, so we did it at universities, we ran workshops during the day, and then we um, performed in the evening, and um, Trevor would then go partying. And, <laughs> and the students actually put in a complaint about the amount of noise Trevor made. <laughs> Coming back after his night out. So he was an absolute riot to be right. I mean, both of them were just adorable. And to see them together, you know, there was one scene in talons where they had to do it in the dumb waiter because they were supposed to do it face to face but they couldn't do it without laughing and the entire crew in the entire studio laughing so they literally changed the blocking of it so that they were off camera and they could record it separately <laughs> so we could get through it I, I, and you know trevor much missed I mean, he was very very um 
he, he couldn't move with his arthritis. It was a real problem at the end. He, I never heard a single complaint come out of his mouth. Everything was about the joy of life, the joie de vivre, you know. He, he was so curious about everyone and everything. Wonderful, wonderful man. Have we got any more, uh, any, any other questions? Oh, oh we just, yes, come forth, come so, forth, Erica. Again, we've got a beautiful original piece of artwork from the lovely Carolyn. Uh, another lovely, generous donation. Um, charity is mind, as we know. Um, would you there mind auctioning, oh, wow. auctioning this off? So, what have we got there? I love, a bit of a, I love a bit of an action. What's she killing? What's the oh, name of the... Which one was it? Ruto. Oh, Ruto. Ruto. Thank you very much. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, Leela and Ruto. We're, I'll tell you what, let's, let, let's start at 80 and we'll see where we get to. So £80 for that print, all to mind. Uh, £80 over there. So we've got £80 over there. Uh, £90 anywhere? Have we got £90 anywhere? It's very nice. It's a very nice... Uh, very beautiful, actually. I've, I've never there. done the Home Shopping Channel, but I, I'm, I'm sure there must be a way. I mean, it's a picture. It can be used as a table mat. Some people can <laughs> take, like, it can also be a lovely thing to wear. It's got the so, hat uh, in the corner. TARDIS in the background. So, any, any advance on £80? Any advance on £80? Um, well, that oh, was great. Isn't it? Back, so. Oh, we got one in the back. I'm oh, sorry. Yes, there we go. So ninety pounds. Oh no, it's eighty, isn't it? No, ninety. Ninety. Ninety pounds over there. Uh, any advance on ninety? On, hundred. Any advance on a hundred? Uh, it's uh, it's we've got hundred down there. Hundred and ten. Hundred and ten. Hundred and ten over there. And we go back to you, sir. Uh, 120. Wow. 120. Uh, back to you, sir. What do you reckon? Hundred and thirty. Oh. Oh, there we go again, that Lee Van Cleef look over there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a bit of a look.